When it comes to John Irvin's films, it's safe to say that a large number of them fall under the violent, gritty American-style film, or the light-hearted, comedic British film. Well, Shiner turned out to be the inevitable crossover. It's a gritty drama set in South London, following the shady world of a low-level boxing promoter named Billy. Played by Michael Caine, Billy is finally achieving his dream of real success as he promotes a fight between an American boxer and his own son, known as Golden Boy. The event has a lot riding on it, including Billy's entire fortune. In fact, Billy's pretty much gambled everything on tonight being successful. And of course, things begin to go wrong. I won't go into detail as to exactly how things are going wrong, and I certainly won't say why, because Billy spends the second half of the movie struggling to discover both these things. Even before things start to go wrong, he is convinced to the point of paranoia that there's a conspiracy out there to keep a guy like himself away from any semblance of glory. But as the night proves, something is happening and there are several people who could be involved. The thing is, Billy is not nice. He is selfish, obsessive, and outright abusive when things go wrong. It's not hard to imagine all the enemies that he's made over the years. Based on how he intimidates and terrifies his employees and his family, we can believe that someone might be holding a grudge. The story isn't that realistic, but it is captivating. A lot of that comes from the fact that it's Michael Caine in the lead role. Caine elevates the screenplay with his acting skills, and he gives us a three-dimensional character. Unfortunately, the other actors don't get as much leeway as Caine does, so great actors like Martin Landau and Andy Serkis aren't given a great deal to work with. At the end of the day, though, Shiner is a character study. It's a look at this unethical man who resented never getting a chance to be legitimate, but failing to see that the more unethical he got, the more it stood in his way. Just like how he sees all the enemies that he's made, but he can't see that he made most of his own enemies himself. And frankly, seeing an elderly Michael Caine play such a ruthless man was a real treat of itself. <laughs> 